I am sick to death of these long, lame, hard to understand, not tying tutorials. All right, Sonny, I don't know if you can see this, but follow along. So I'm gonna make my own not tying tutorial using this line and this hook so that it's easy for you to understand. The Palmer knot is great because it's one of the strongest knots in the world and it's one of the easiest knots in fishing to tie. Let me show you. All right, so take your hook and your line and just put the line through the eye of the hook, of course. And now pull a lot of line through the eye of the hook. That's very important to have a lot of line because you're gonna make a loop with this end of the line and it's going to go over the lure or the hook. So it's important to pull at least a foot of line through. Now take your line and go back through the opposite way you just came. Don't let go of this end of the line because otherwise the hook will slide off. And so you have the hook on two strands of line. Now all you have to do is take the loop end of the line and tie a simple overhand knot. Just like so. Now you take the loop and all you're gonna do is go over the hook, like so. Now you're almost done, but there's two things to remember that are really important. First of all, you need to wet the line. That's really important because if you don't wet the line, it's, it's gonna burn when you tighten it down. Also, you need to make sure the knot comes out evenly. So you see how I have a big loop here and then kind of some little loops there. You wanna take your fingers and kind of open those up so that they're even like that. Then wet the line and then just carefully tighten it evenly. That way your line won't burn. And that's all there is to tying the polymer knot. Now, if you're using a drop shot rig, you just have to attach a sinker to this end and you got a great drop shot rig. Or if you have any other bait, a crankbait, a worm, it doesn't matter. You just clip the tag end off and you're ready to go. When you click the tag end off, leave about a quarter inch of line. So that way, when the line, uh, when a fish grabs the bait and you set the hook and the line tightens down super hard, it's gonna pull that tag end of line just a little bit. And if you clip it too close, sometimes that tag end of line can pull through the loop and then your whole knot comes unraveled and you've lost your fish. Also be sure to give your line a couple of jerks to test your knot to make sure you tied it correctly before you start casting. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Did you like this video, Sonny? Did you like it? Then click the like button below your Nimrod. And don't forget to share it with your friends so that we can spread the good tutorials throughout the land.